Hey, welcome to the Old Computer Museum channel and this is a Commodore 64 game called Defender of the Crown. Now you might tell yourself, hey, I've seen Defender of the Crown in his videos. Yep, I've done already a Atari ST review of Defender of the Crown. This is the Commodore 64 version. I thought it was nice to compare. And of course, this version is cracked by Eaglesoft. Defender of the Crown is a um, 1986 strategy computer game by Cinemaware. Platforms which this game is available. MS-DOS, Nintendo, Apple 2GS, um, Apple 2Gs, Atari ST, Apple Macintosh, the ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, the Amiga, um, and later on Windows, Game Boy Advance and iOS at a version. The game is set in England in the Middle Ages, where, uh, following the death of the king, different factions are fighting for territorial control. And so you uh, assume the role of a Saxon, and uh, you try to find off Norman hordes and wrestle for control of England. Like at the Atari ST version, the Commodore 64 version of this game is absolutely stunning. You choose your character, it's extremely nice gameplay. This is the first game from Cinemaware, and actually, uh, there's a little story behind this um, that is interesting. Cinemaware didn't have enough cash to actually put do to all what you know implement all they wanted in the game, and so what happened is that they released it with less features. Um, if they would have had the cash, they actually would have had much more graphical details. Unfortunately, they um, started being strapped for cash, so they really wanted to sell as soon as possible to make some money. And so it was released with lots of the features um, unavailable. Apparently, they have actually done some of the features, but what happened is they never released those features. It's a two disc game for the Counter 64, as you can see. And. Um, now you see that you have um, soldiers, catapults, knights, you've got income, so, you know, you got to try and get the biggest army possible. So here we've got soldiers, cost one, you can buy soldiers. You can also buy knights. And well, what you have to do is actually get the most money possible to 
conquest. It's a very beautiful strategy game. Um, one of the one of my favorites and probably one of the best for the Commodore 64. And so basically the more territory you have, the more you will be able to um, the more money comes in, the more gold, and the more gold comes in, the more army you can get. You can get, and uh, so basically, you do want to conquest other territories. So what you can do is say, okay, um, I want to conquest, for example. We uh, then you transfer your armies. So let's uh, put all of my army here. Maybe not all of it. Because you do need to keep some of your army at your home base if you want, or else you will. Uh, and uh, then you move army. You select the destination where you want to go, and there you'll have attack. And of course, you can go through some of the enemies. Basically what you need to do is try to uh, conquest that territory, and here I did. On the left you see that uh, I actually had how many of my army I have left on the left, on the right side, and on the uh, if you lose then you are sent to a jail on which you will come back sometime so now you see that I have two parts in the territory of the old map of England it's pretty amazing And um, as you continue on, you really need to buy more armies and uh, continue. Game is very beautiful, graphics are beautiful, gameplay is fun. Um, I give this game for the um, Commodore 64 Defender of the Crown a score of 8.5 out of 10. And this is a tournament. And I'll try to also conquest, uh, go and raid a castle to uh, let you see uh, the different graphics and that you can compare with the Atari ST version that's already online. So you got an end seat. Conquest. Transfer my army. Oh, wait. I want to go raiding a castle, and so I'll select one of the castles to raid. And 
Let's see if I can uh, see the graphics. Compare the graphics with the uh, Atari ST version. As you can see, the graphics are absolutely stunning. The, the effects on the background of um, the lighting, the little shadows of your characters, is just incredible. And here you are captured. If you're not captured, you actually uh, find love. You find a, a girl that's uh, there and that you can uh, take home with you. It's not an easy game. It's really, really a lot of strategy, but um, it's a fun game. So, um, hey, go and get it if you uh, like these strategy games. This is the Commodore 64 version of Defender of the Crown. And um, if you have any, uh, if you like, old games and old computers and emulation, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when uh, new videos are online. And um, if you have any comments, questions, maybe you play this game, do you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, what do you think about it? Let us know and uh, we'll try to... Uh, it's always fun to have those little stories behind the games when everybody was uh, actually playing it. Uh, if you have any requests of a game, let us know. We'll try to put it online. And hey, take a look at our other videos we have online. We have real machines like the Amiga 500, the Atari ST. We have some We have some um, emulation stuff like the Atari ST. We also have uh, emulation stuff, sorry, not the Atari ST, the um, <laughs> Atari 2600 VCS. I got mixed up here. Uh, also, Counter 64, um, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and lots more coming up. So, uh, hope you uh, tune in to our channel and come back to the old Computer Museum channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.